and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some Grixis Control. It's been a little while since we've played Grixis Control here on stream, so we're going to be back at it with a few changes since the last time we played it, because I think the last time I played it was during the MCQ uh, a few weeks ago, um, that last Saturday. I think that was the last time we played it. So as you can tell here, I have transitioned from disinformation campaign to Narset. That's one of the biggest change here. Um, while I'm while I'm one of the biggest fans of disinformation campaign that you can find, um, I have just I feel like that uh, we could do a little bit better with that slot still. And I'm going to be trying out Narset. You know, this is just a you know Narset's a really good card as well. The, kind of the problem with Narset in this deck, though, is we don't really do a very good job of protecting Narset. So decks that get on the battlefield fast with a lot of early creatures, Narset's going to be really vulnerable to that. But hopefully Narset helps us dig towards something like Cry the Carnarium or Ritual of Soot in that case. Um, but so I'm moving away from Disinformation Campaign for now. Uh, you know, we'll see how, how it works out and if we want to go back. Uh, the other thing is... The two mana removal spells that I've played, I usually played a whole lot of Tyrant Scorns, um, but I've kind of switching that, switching that from going with a couple Tyrant Scorns and a couple Lightning Strikes, so that my removals, my two mana removal is a little more versatile, and it can go after Planeswalkers as well. Because um, sometimes I'll just have like I'll have too many dead cards. I think between like four Tyrant Scorns, two Cries, two Rituals, so it's against like against uh, non creature decks. So switching that up a little bit. Um, so that's a couple of like the small changes that I've made, uh, for the most part. Um, everything else is about the same that we can think of. Uh, I may not have had Dire Fleet Daredevils in the sideboard before, but we're going to be trying out a couple of those, uh, right now. And that's what we got. We got an extra contempt in the board here because of, uh, Gruel is pretty big right now, and with Rekindling Phoenixes, I think we need an extra Contempt uh, for the for that matchup in particular. Uh, but then it's also just good against like the Planeswalker heavy decks as well. It can come in there. So let's try out some Grixis Control. Didn't do well at all with Mono Green Tron, so can't go any any worse here. Hopefully, we can start earning some of our ranking back. All right, so we get to keep this hand because of Discovery. We're going to need to use Discovery just to look for black mana. All right, I'll take another Discovery. Basically, if it's black mana, we're keeping it. If it's anything else, we're ditching it. Those are not black mana. Hmm. Where's our black mana? There it is. We'll keep it like this where the Blood Crypt can come into play first. I'm known for my excellent type. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Double Nissa. Well, we get rid of one of them. We'll be able to bedevil the other one next turn. And then Ritual of Sit the following turn. And then start playing Nickel Boluses the following turn after that. that which cannot protect itself. The land fights for us. <laughs> there really is no escaping Nissa these days. And it's not like... This you know we've we've idea. played against a lot of Nissa decks in a row here, but it's not that it's not that like our opponents are just playing Nissa decks. It's that every single hand has one or two Nissas, and they always have it right away. Um, I'll protect you.
But this time we're playing Ritual of Soot, which is very good against these mana creature decks. Dang. I guess they only have five mana right now. Maybe they don't draw a land in the next two draw steps. Yeah, we're gonna have to draw but another Bedevil. Was worthwhile getting rid of Finale Glory and Acrisis. We've already seen two Bedevils. We had to get rid of a Bedevil earlier, also. They're immortal sons. Yep. Wrestling, this is Magic Arena. Yeah, I have three Bedevils. So we're just... Hopefully drawing the last one. The enchantments aren't really a problem, it's this Immortal Sun's the problem. I don't care about Prison Realm whatsoever. That's 10. We're at 10. Prison Realm is just a removal spell. Don't care about that. I mean... Maybe I need more artifact removal if this Immortal Sun deck is going to be really big, if everybody's going to be playing this, like we've seen here. Yeah, I can. So I could have. I could be playing Angrass Rampage instead of Lightning Strikes. Um. You know, that's still, that's still a versatile removal spell that hits Planeswalkers and everything. So, yeah, we can switch out Strike for Rampage. I kind of feel like I want Duresses, right? Like, Duresses seem like they're going to do a whole lot. I think Narset either gets killed pretty easily or we don't get to activate it. We play these duresses.
Actually, I don't want to enter the God Eternals. So I'm going to do. I'm going to cut that card. Yeah, Narset shuts off the extra card you draw from Immortal Sun. All right, so I'm not going to play Duress right away. I think that's a mistake some people make is just fire off turn one Duress. Uh, and then... And then, like, the card that they really didn't want Duress was, like, one of the next two or... You know, like, if that Nissa is, like, one of the next two or three cards. I want to give myself a little bit more draw steps. I'm going to go ahead and fire it off here, though, because I may go soot into Nicol Bolas, like, the next couple of turns. And, yep, obviously we whiff. At least I gave my opponent two more draw steps, giving me a little bit better chance of hitting with it. Need more cards. My and so yeah, I played the soot uh, to try to clear the battlefield battlefield a little bit for the nickel bolus. Um. Yeah, Hydra Crisis and Finale of Glory. Yeah, those are both awesome spells to ramp into with Nissa. Absolutely. Uh, you've been having success with Biogenic Ooze. Okay. Uh, I think I think the the whole nearly nobody plays board wipes anymore. I think that's going to be changing, uh, considering there is, you know, cards like Finale of Glory being uh, being really popular. I, I'm expecting uh, more board wipes to come into fashion. Let's look for another Ritual of Soot. Cry the Carnarium. I mean, that does keep my Bolus alive for a turn on its own. Or I just let Bolus die and just double Thought Erasure to be able to take, like, Nyssa. All right, maybe I should have just ditch that Cry. Why is Cry still in the deck? Because of Finale of Glory? Wow. I wish I would have just cast the Cry. We've gotten rid of... We've surveilled over a lot of lands, too. We surveilled over three lands there. I have three rituals and two cries in the deck right now. Crisis. I don't think flipping Bolas 
was really too worth it there with like all with like the other creatures. Like now I can flip Bolas and even get back the other Bolas to kill Shalai or just use this one to kill Shalai. Um, but then have the Kefnet on defense. Three, four, five, six, seven. In exchange for eternal servitude. This game's not over. They could just draw a mortal sun. And then I'm in huge trouble. Because then their crisis is a 5-5. Five five and shuts off both of these. That's not it's not GG. Yay. No immortal sun. I know what must be done. You are all so generous. All right, looks like we're going to get this game. Of course, it helped that my opponent had just like all sorts of lands and not really any spells. It's kind of the same thing with us, though. What's up, 619? Yeah, having a pretty good Sunday. It could be better. <laughs> we haven't actually won a match yet. Uh, but our opponent did not play Nissa that game, so we won. So that was good. Did not. They did not play a Nissa. Let's get this extra contempt in here. Shall I also? Yeah, let's get that extra contempt. Thanks, Kitsuni. Good. Good, glad you're enjoying it. All right, I'll duress next turn. All right, good. Got that Immortal Sun out of there. Bum, 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 bum. Sorry, I'm late. Let's try this. All right, draw a land. Yay. Nicobolus the Ravager. I don't want to just um, cry the Cornarium yet. Alright, now we can cry the Cornarium. Should I or should I just Ravager again? Actually, I should just Ravager again. They have no lands over there in hand. That's more like it. Hope they play another mana creature or two. There we go. Good. Play another one. That was a good draw. So if they have a negate, they negate the thought erasure, and then I cry. I cannot. I do not want to go to attacks first, because then if they if they block, then my nickel bolus dies. So I just have to do it this way, even though it doesn't no kill the Teferi. Games. And that's why we still have Cry the Cornerium in the deck. All right, sweepers. 
<laughs> First win of the day. We get a booster pack for winning a match. GG's. Ugh. All right, no Nissa either of those games. <laughs> oh, the the sound bug is is there. I'll have to reset arena after this then if that if there's a sound bug going on right now. Whatever it is, it's it must be really faint cuz I don't hear it at all. What are we playing against? Overgrown tomb. These are certainly two useful cards. Can we discovery next turn and hit land? I probably need to get rid of one of these. And I guess I get rid of Bedevil. Against Overgrown Tomb. Please do not curse in the chat. Basically debating if I wanted just to cast the Cry of the Carnarium, but I'm not going to do it. All right, let's keep both of those. Discard. Alright, that's a good hit. Getting rid of a Krasis. That's good. Please no Jade Light. It's caused by the sound after you exit a game and claim rewards. You don't let the sound clip complete it causes static okay so how do you let the sound clip complete just sitting on the rewards page for a little bit longer I guess Well, it certainly could be a Command the Dreadhorde deck. So let's use Cry the Carnarium plus Tyrant Scorn to exile all of their stuff so they don't get the Wild Growth Walker back or anything. In my image. Your existence is All right, let's just get us out of here. Uh, 
Operation Kill Nissa in full effect. Otherness of uh, one from existence. I think I just do the same dance. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. I can Defiance help you has consequence. So yeah, I could I could cast into the God Eternals, kill that, and then like get a four four blocker and attack Nissa for four. Um, but then they get to activate Nissa again, and then they also they also get the bonus with Nissa where it you know they get two mana with all these things, which it's it's very likely they have another Krasis in hand. How they discarded a Krasis earlier, it's it's unlikely that was their only Krasis. So I don't I don't really want to like let them have you know two four six. On tap one of these eight, nine, ten. I don't want them just to be able to play a crisis for eight and draw four cards. Hmm. The moon look, I think you will find my notes helpful. I will return. Let your weak minds crumble. Hmm, got rid of wild growth, Waka. Put him down to four mana. Oh. There's double Jade Light Ranger. And I can safely attack this, make it so Tamio does not get to minus now. Do not harm my scrolls. <laughs> yep, need a lot of bolluses. Let me aid your research. Ah, they still hit another Jade Light Ranger. Yeah, they are commanding. So of course I have to kill um I have to, I have to kill the Tamiel first before I can make them discard and I want to discard so that they have like just a really low number of resources here before I do the nickel bolus tick up. You know, I don't want them just to be able to get rid of one of the cards in hand. I want them have to have to get rid of something here. I have other plans. Witness a moat of my power. The focus put thoughtfulness cool. before action. Well, good job, Narset. Way to go. Put four lands down at the bottom. All right, we got game one. Yeah, I I do like Unmored Ego for 
for Dread Horde, I think, because Dread Horde is like a card that I'm really super scared of in general. I do think I like Unmored Ego for Dread Horde here. Because it's like the, the rest of their stuff, you know, I can kind of, you know, fight and everything and kind of try to try to get rid of everything else, you know, like one for one. And obviously some some cards cost more than one to deal with. Uh, but Command the Dread Horde just gives them, you know, way too many cards uh, to be realist for realistic there. Um. We do get rid of Cry of the Carnarium, but I want the Soot. I want these Elder Spells. I want the Contempt. Uh, Daredevil's probably pretty nice. All right, like, what, what spells are they playing that I'm going to Daredevil? Um, like, are they playing Elder Spell, Contempt, stuff like that? I guess, is the 2-1 body really going to be that necessary? I'm not sure. Actually, Enter the God Eternals is a little better here. I didn't like it the previous matchup because of Little Teferi. But it's a little better here. Unmored well, Ego is a lot better against Arclight Phoenix than, uh, than Ashiok is. Because they're just out of their deck completely. Pretty good hand. Good start. Not as good of a hand. Not as good of a start. Daredevil Duress would be pretty sweet. I guess I shouldn't have played the Sulphur Falls because they didn't know about that one. Hey Storm, yeah, we're playing some Grixis. Played some tough matches so far. We are, we are one to know and up a game, but they've been, uh, been really good games, real close and everything. Yeah, Tron got Nissed just playing Nissa decks over and over and over again and they had uh, they just had more Nissas Nissas out faster than us even though you know we're playing 8 mana creatures and then the branch walkers jade lights trying to get to Nissa find Nissa and get Nissa out fast but our opponents just did a lot better job of nissa than we did No lands over there. Whoa. I was kind of expecting, like, trophy, maybe. I was not expecting that card. But I was also kind of expecting negate, which is why I didn't go God Eternals. I played uh, the Nicol Bolas because of negate.
Well, that thing's dealt 10 damage to me so far. Like the phases of the moon, life waxes and wanes. The past is never forgotten. I have become too involved with my work. That's pretty nice. Have Tamio get back at Tamio. All right, so Nissa should kill us. Need to draw like elder spell here. And find. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Okay, we're still in it. Oh wait, no, we're not in it. <laughs> yeah, I need rituals at first. Okay. So we've seen a lot of discard and counter magic from them. And a lot of spells. Still other like removal and everything. So So my own duress, daredevil. I could honestly even see playing war boss here on the play. War boss is going to be pretty bad against wild growth walker, but it's unclear whether or not they still have wild growth walker. Let's try getting in these duresses uh, to be able to help protect our own stuff. Obviously, if they have a Tamiyo out, the discard's not going to do anything. We're going to try to make them discard before that. Yes, Tamik stops Nissa. All right, so since they have discard and cheap stuff also, I will be shocking in and go I will just go ahead and play the duress on turn one here. Well, that's really unfortunate. My nickel bolus is gone. It's really unfortunate. Huh. All right, waiting until my turn four until I cast this other duress. Give them three three draw steps that we don't know about towards 
finding Nyssa or... Uh, Tamiyo. Now we need to find Ritual Set. Ritual of Sid. That's not gonna do it. I don't even like one, you know, one removal spell doesn't save me. Explore creature is still good. <laughs> one and one. Percentage of games, those things will just kill you like that. Because they're they hit hard, you know, like they play the Wild Growth Walker on turn two, turn three, play Jade Light Ranger that was a four three. The Wild Growth attacks for three, so three power, two drop. The next turn playing a branch walker makes it a four power two drop, and yeah, they had a four power three mana creature also. Those things hit really hard. Gonna replace explore creatures, yeah. Growth Chamber Guardian, that's a good one. Yeah, Paradise Druid, Incubation Druid, Growth Chamber Guardian. Those are all pretty solid. Main deck negate. Well then. All right, this lightning strikes looking silly. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about the sound bug thing. I'm sorry, y'all. Like I don't hear it at all, but uh, somebody said that, that it was there last time, and I was going to uh, reset. Hey, Alder 2. Got all the good tools here.
intellect is without limit. Alright, got the rampage out of there. Enter the God Eternals wouldn't have been a bad one. Make them mill this uh, Kefnet. Yuck, yuck. Alright, that's also not a bad one. You love that no glitch? Why did I just minus three bolus to kill theirs? Because they just have another one. And instead, I that just wouldn't really that wouldn't really get me anywhere, you know, like I would kill their bolus. Um they would just play their other one they, and you know like they'd angrass rampage away mine and stuff. I need, I just need more cards and, uh, you know, we still got rid of a resource by taking up. It turned out that resource was the Cry of the Carnarium, you know, it was like their worst resource, but we still got rid of one. Thanks, Badonkadonk. And of course I got rid of these lands. At the time it seemed like a good idea. Right about now it does not seem like a good idea. Yep. So, guessing we should have Angrass Rampage instead of these Lightning Strikes. Lightning Strikes have been... Uh, not so good. And it's unfortunate. Definitely wanted to, just to draw a land, because we draw a land, we get to flip the Bolas and bring back our other Bolas, and like we're, we were in a commanding position if we would have just drawn a land. Uh, next card's the land. Uh, the Tron video's up on the YouTube channel there. This is a Daredevil matchup. Um, Enter the God Eternals, at least can kill Nicobolus the Ravager. Oh well. Gonna just try to have a lot of threats. Here, that's that's my goal here. All right. So after this match, remind me to reset arena because of that sound bug thing, and then I'm also gonna take out the lightning strikes and put in angrass rampages instead for the remaining two matches after this. The problem with Lava Coil is it only kills creatures and there's a good amount of decks in Standard that don't have creatures and we already have a lot of cards in our deck that only deal with creatures and so that's why I want that slot to be able to help deal with planeswalkers as well and not just creatures which is why i have lightning strike because it can go upstairs and, you know it can take out other planeswalkers
not been a good day for us. Not at all. Not too surprised drawing the land there with the 26 land deck. Thought that was a little greedy going after the discovery, being the worst card in my in my hand. There was the only one that I could possibly cast right there, but with a I know we're obviously our opponent doesn't know that we're a 26 land deck, but I knew there were we we're a 26 land deck and getting rid of these I wasn't. Too uh, worried about drawing other lands. All right, so let's say we we just draw a spell, and I I want to play Dragon God next turn. But let's say we oh wait we we cannot play Dragon God at all. We need two black sources to play Dragon God. All right, let's actually get rid of Dragon God. As Kanta and Contempt. Kanta's pretty messed up. I know eighty eight ways. I have just the trick for this. No, don't attack with the one one. <laughs> Whoops. Just want to attack with the 4-4. Four four. Uh, uh. There's four bolus in this list for the new bolus. Well, throwing away 1-1's one not ideal. What's that shock about? This was overwhelming. Oh, enter the God Eternals? That was a great end of the God Eternals. I was going to just have to use the Ascanta to look for something for Nicol Bolas the Ravager, but I thought I was going to have a little bit more time than what we have now. And then negate. Oh, Tyrant Scorn. Alright, well that's a good card. Their two mana removal spells have lined up really well. The the Rampage game one. And then the the Lava Coil for the war boss, and now the Tyrant Scorn for that scenario. That's lined up for them quite well. So I'm not I'm not flipping uh not flipping as Kanta because we're not using this extra mana for anything. I've had the right two mana removal spell at the right time. I have a few openings for more minions if you're interested.
time, Planeswalker. <laughs> you have no, no I don't, Jazzy. weakness that I cannot exploit. Open mind. Where's Elder Spell? I assume I brought in the Elder Spells. It's possible. I mean, it's possible I just didn't even bring them in. I don't know. I think I brought him in. The only I did bring him in. May not have it. I don't remember. I will return one day. Alright, one and two. Alright, I'll exit here to get rid of that sound that y'all are saying that there's a, that's on there. Do the reset. And we're going to take out the two lightning strikes for two and grass rampage. Rampage. All right, let's try that. Ugh. 
Terrible. No, you can't play modern in arena. Arena is just for standard and limited. Mm. <sighs> well, hopefully our luck starts turning around a little bit here. All right, we got us Kanta on turn two. That's always a good start. Definitely can't complain about that one. Those who cannot put thoughtfulness before action. No, three lands at the bottom. I want those lands. <laughs> well, I'm glad you glad you still like my attitude and everything here, Sir Tails. I'm been a little frustrated. I have reached my limit. But hey, Mad Cow, thank you so much for that tier one sub there. I really do appreciate that. I really do appreciate that support. Our opponent's only sitting on the two lands, though. They don't have the Escanta to help them out, so not looking very good for them here. Yeah, Ke Kefnet is, re is really, really good. Um, certainly understand. Yeah, for sure understand playing two Kefnets. Because it is so good. So after seeing our opponent discard shock and attack in, kind of feels like, oh, that's why they discarded shock and still attacked in. All right, let's see what other tricks they have up their sleeves over here. So we got a thrash, spellbreaker, Domri. We're just doing okay on resources. I can use that even though I have the Cry of the Cranarium. I guess I just wasn't... I'm not really scared of anything else in their, their hand. I know the hero... Again, I have the Cry of the Cranarium for, but... Um... Just not really too worried about anything else there. Might as well just take the, the cheap card. Hey, Sinister Decay. Doing okay. Not having the best of days today. But doing okay. So certainly going to bring in another Ritual of Soot. And... I guess I want Moment of Craving and Contempt and just not play these Narsets that die very easily. Let's try that. We still had five subscribers today, including Mad Cow just a little bit ago, and that, that always helps. Thanks again, Mad Cow. Mm -hmm. 
But we're going to have Bant Arcbow up next after this, which is my favorite deck to play these days. So that'll be good. I haven't played Bant Arcbow um, in like five days or so, even though it's my favorite deck, just because I do play different stuff all the time here on stream. Uh, and so it's been a while since I've gotten to Bant Arcbow, and so I'm excited about playing that one. Mono Green Tron lost to Nissa over and over and over again. We got out Nissa. Just game after game after game. Play against Nissa decks, and they would play Nissa before us. And then they would have better interaction or like better things to do with Nissa, like Hydro Crisis. And we died. And that's what happened every game. Yeah, no, New, new Rouse is a good card. Yeah, it's a good card. Nothing wrong with that one. So... I'm not, like, super scared of Feather. Or, sorry. Sorry, I'm not super scared of Cindervine. But I might as well just take it, considering, like, the Feather we have, you know, lots of answers to here. Might as well just take the Cindervine, I guess, and just uh, get that out of there. Good combo. So four cards in the graveyard right now towards flipping as Kanta. I can't actually cast that yet. <clears throat> You're welcome, Mickey. Mickey Oma. You're welcome. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we're one man away from flipping Nicol Bolas the Ravager. So, uh, people often, questions, people often badmouth Grixis, but I made a fourth or fifth in Tapia or Tapai circuit and seems to do well in tournaments occasionally. Why is it the people... Bad Mouth Grixis as bad. Is it a very player skill dependent deck or most fail with it? I would say that the people that classify Grixis as bad, whenever people say that, that's people that just like to put things in boxes and put things in a good box or a bad box and just like to label things. Uh, there, there are people that like to do that, just just label stuff as good or bad, and try to, um, and you know, try to just make that that easy shortcut um, in their mind. And the fact is, is that Grixis is not a bad deck. It's not necessarily one of the best decks or anything either. It's just it's 
it's a really situational kind of deck. Like if you know, do your cards line up? Like it, it can be really, really powerful. Um, and if the right, uh, if you line up against the right stuff and you have like the right answers for a given weekend, you can do really well. Um, but it's just, it's just like a lot of stuff in Magic. You know, a lot of a lot of cards. People want to say like that card's bad, but it keeps. It could be good depending on, you know, depending on the different scenario and everything. And it's just, it's, Magic's much too complex of a game just to be saying things are bad, things are good, that kind of stuff. Just too, too complex of a game. But some people just want to shortcut uh, their thinking and put labels on everything. So much of life is is like that. Also, that's not really just a magic thing. That's that's definitely a life thing too. Um, different people, you know, so you may think like like it's definitely a common thing with people. Like, oh, that person's good. That person's bad. And it's just goes a lot deeper than that. Just so much of life does. Hmm. So basically, you should be trying to learn the the whys and like the how. How can you, um, like for, for magic, for example, how can you uh, really get the most out of all of your cards uh, from like a card perspective? So getting rid of Enter the God Eternals, even though I have two Nickel Bulls, the Ravagers, but still going to get rid of Enter the God Eternals because I think the creature part is just really easy to answer, um, and including stuff like Tyrant Scorn. So getting rid of that. It's aggressive. Dang it. That's Teferi. Uh, was hoping they didn't hit that fifth land for the Teferi there. Let's slow this down. Reverse. Don't really know exactly what I'm going to do like this next turn. I mean, I guess I have to do Dragon God Kill Bell Hunt. I mean, I guess that's my only option, but then the Teferi is a huge problem. I am not going to sit this one out.
know what? I'm not done yet. All right, not done yet. I've got time. Oh, right, I can't even play instant, so why was I, like, holding up Tyrant Scorn? I can't even play instance. What am I doing? The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. So do I want to kill the bell hunt or do I want to tuck the bell hunt? I think I want to tuck it. I think I wouldn't mind them drawing a bell hunt. I am omnipotent. It's only a matter of time. You yeah, did not play that that last turn particularly well against this little Teferi. Uh don't worry. That's the thing about, you know, whenever you start getting a little frustrated with, like, how the day's gone today, then you, you don't play your best also. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm late. Do you think Mono Red has gone down in popularity? I remember a good old day before Amonkhet where Red decks were dead for a rotation or two, but then come back with Hazoret. It's going to be less prominent for now. I'd say not necessarily. I think that the Red decks are still... Quite good right now, and I, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily um, only time will tell Let your weak that it's. I don't think it's necessarily going to recede a lot before, um, like before rotation. <clears throat> What's up, Candy Ninja? Thanks for that sub there, sub number seven on the day. There are so many mysteries. I have just the trick for this. What's wrong with today? Oh, just, just. Just been losing a good amount, you know, like a, haven't had the the most luck today. So do I want duress? Also, I, I do want Daredevil, Elder Spell. Um, taking out Under the God Eternals and I guess Deputy Detention would be the reason why. It's like that's like the only card that I can think of that like. Ritual will kill, but Cry would not kill. Thanks, Zombie. Glad to have you here. Yeah, you can play the fourth Nicol Bolas creature instead of the fourth Nicol Bolas Dragon God. If you don't have the fourth Dragon God, you can also just play an Ugin or a Liliana um, or another Kefnet. Those are all good cards to play as well. You can play an Angrath. Hey, Ludacris. All right, good looking hands. Yep, 
Yay, no Devon's veto. Does give my opponent a target to bounce with little Teferi if they have that card. Though. I'm no well, we'll just replay it. Timing. Or should I play Narset? Actually, let's, let's play Narset. I mean, I need land drops. But yeah, especially with drawing this Thought Erasure, because it's just a lot easier to double spell with, like, Ascanta plus something else, like, uh, next kind of turn. So I really hope we draw a land here we can double spell. My mind needs a rest. That was a perfect Othakaya. I can't imagine that Othakaya is in the sideboard. So it's surprising they conceded no, last game with the I ability go. to do uh, to play that card. All right, well they didn't play a land either. No land, go to conceit, or sorry, not conceit, but go to discard. Oh wait, that's no, never mind. That's just seven cards in hand. They don't have to go to discard. Yeah, and it's a land. Interesting. If you wish to surrender now, I keep an open mind. Land drop. I've got it. Yay. All right. So they have another, another little Teferi, and a big Teferi, and this Command the Dread Horde I can't beat. It's gonna be a really difficult hand to beat. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the card I just can't beat. This is hardly Such my worst defeat. Is upsetting. I don't want to rely on my opponent just not hitting land drops, though, because it's not like I'm going to take a long time to kill my opponent. Like, all they have to do is just draw two lands. This is a tough hand to... Uh, to kind of deal with as well from their side. All right, Kefnet down. Really annoying. How many commands of the Dread Hordes are they playing? Can't be more than two, right? It's not any more That's than just that. Like
Yeah, big to fairies are already hard enough to beat, but I know my responsibility. I'm not ready for this quite yet. I don't think I draw the card here because then it just keeps their Teferi around. Like, if I draw the card, they have to Elder Spell the Bolas instead of attacking with those. But then Elder Spell, of course, with the big Teferi out, just lets them have a lot of loyalty on the big Teferi. There you go, John Corky. Good. Probably some good selling there. Selling your Nexus of Fates now. That hero precinct one draw immediately after I surveil over Cry of the Carnarium and then then they draw the hero precinct one was pretty perfect. Alright, so I got one turn to find a sweeper. So that's why, you know, kill the bell hunt instead of the hero, because I need gonna need to find a sweeper, and both Ritual of Sutte and Cry of the Carnarium can deal with these. I only have two sweepers left in my deck though um we activate and discovery Nope. <sighs> so Command the Dread Horde is going to be a card I'm not going to be able to beat at all. Yeah, I'm expecting more removal for Planeswalkers with M19. After playing uh, a lot with War of the Spark here, I do have to say that I I really don't like the static abilities for the Planeswalkers. I I think that they are just too powerful in general. Like just overall, like these static abilities are just too powerful. I think they would be a good power level. Like, basically all the Planeswalkers would be just fine without the static abilities. And I just think that that was really unnecessary, putting those on the Planeswalkers in this last set. Don't care for that at all. So why not Duress? I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to just have... You know, we have the Thought Rager still, but besides that I'm going to just try to have things that affect the battlefield all the time. You know, presumably with, with their deck and with my deck, with how the two decks should match up, we should be going to a long game. And uh, and in this long game, I want to make sure that I, I don't just draw, like, dead duresses later on in the game whenever we're behind. Against, like, a, a control deck without creatures, is, it's easier to do, but with, like, the creatures they run also, it's... Um, rid of Elder Spell. I'm just going to go this way.
Mind and body should move in unison, like wind and wave. So of course, I'm, if I minus Narset, then Othakaya kills it. So I'm just going to not minus Narset. Keep them from drawing any extra cards. So they can't just uh, go like Teferi and minus and draw another card. isn't a fight you can win. Trust me, I have a plan. Hone your prowess. <laughs> In exchange for eternal servitude. I don't I don't like our chances in this game at all. Three of my boluses are already gone. We have one down at the bottom of the library. That we scry down to the bottom after our mulligan. After this dispark here, we're just left with nothing. It's not liking our chances. Well, you know, like we just have to draw some threats, but the problem is we already have so many so many boluses are gone. But maybe they don't draw any threats. Here we go. Yeah, like no Teferi for them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think they're just gonna minus three to fairy and cycle, right? They're probably gonna tick up again. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Perfect. So waited on the Daredevil for like Daredevil Elder Spell until we had one more mana. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. But perfect. So they go Oath of Kaya kill my daredevil and then I just tyrant scorn and bounce it or not they're going to keep their othakaya Oh, they drew command the Dread Horde. Well, GG. I know the card's so messed up. I am one again. I will return. My schemes are Unfortunately, I already used Elder Spell. I have Dispark over here. I can Daredevil Dispark the Bolus, and I have Contempt, but... Yeah, no, there's there's not there's nothing at all left. If, if I go Daredevil Command the Dread Horde, there's nothing left. Here we go. Hey, Dirk. My revenge will be painful. I have 
just the trick for this. Yeah, I could I could hit um my own el elder spell here. Trust yeah, we got we have, have two elder way. spells in the deck right now. I don't get to actually flip search. I won't hide from the world any longer. Keep up the pace. Should have seen that coming. Just gotta get rid of these things. I know they have another one. I still need to get rid of them. All right, all right, John. Take care. I have practiced against many foes like you. Meditate and prepare. I've done the hero thing before. So I get to just play Teferi, tick up, untap two lands, my draw step, thought erasure me. I mean, that's their best line. Hey, Eisenf. Oh, we're losing a bunch today. Let's slow this down. I don't. I've got time. I guess I just really want to get rid of Ascanta. No, you won't get wild cards for cards that rotate out. Open mind. Ah, now, You're a mighty what? warrior, I concede. Well, I guess we're not dead yet. I can no longer stand by and watch. What? Wow. Wow. All our opponent had to do was just, they just got too cute playing the other Teferi. All they had to do was just play the, the new Teferi and tick up and then. I don't know. Oh well. Or just, yeah, I guess if they wanted to play the other Teferi and tuck the the Ascanta if they didn't want me to flip Ascanta. I don't know what happened. Yep, it's a bant time though. Alright, so we went uh three and two. I guess with Grixis control. I really thought we were gonna go two and three there. Sorry, excuse me. Um Yeah, deck felt okay. That's Kind of how I've been, been feeling about Grixis recently. It's been okay. It's not spectacular. Narset there did get us that win against Esper. <clears throat> it was better than Campaign would have been. Um, yeah, Schmidt. Oh, was I just playing against you? Oh, GG's. 
You had to you had to leave. Okay. Yeah, you can you can rewatch it later on. It'll be up on YouTube here in a little bit. Um. GGS. So, yeah, the deck's the deck's perfectly fine. It's not spectacular though. There the the meta game is just so vast and like there's so many good threats kind of coming from everywhere. It's it's pretty tough to have everything covered, to be honest. But, um. Nickel Bolas Dragon God is is just an incredibly good card, and so whenever you whenever we like get to like curve out and have Dragon God on turn five is like really where the deck shines. Um, but there'll be there's other games though that you just kind of uh, you know draw a lot of lands and maybe some removal like maybe like some wrong removal spells and you don't really have like your threats and and uh, you know you you lose. That uh, just happens with Grixis Control for sure. Um, but all right uh if you're watching this video later on youtube i hope you enjoyed it and please hit that like button over there i'd really appreciate that uh, but that's it here for Greeks's control thank you very much for watching and i will see you for another video um